The Perfect Hamburger by Alexander McCool Smith, pages five and six. Chapter one. Joe liked hamburgers. He liked hamburgers that were crisp and delicious and that had one ring of onion on the top and one on the bottom. He liked hamburgers that had just a touch of ketchup and that were big enough to sink your teeth into, even if you finished up with a stream of juice running down to the end of your chin. In fact, Joe liked most sorts of hamburger. In the town where he lived, there was only one hamburger place. This was because it was not a big town and nobody thought there would ever be room for another one. This place was run by an old man called Mr Borthwick, who had been running it for as long as anyone could remember. Although everybody liked Mr Borthwick, the truth of the matter was that his hamburger place was not as good as it used to be. Mr Borthwick had none of the fancy equipment that bigger hamburger places have, so his hamburgers took longer to make and were not as crisp as they should be. Also, it was plain to see that Mr Borthwick's place needed new stools, as the old ones looked very tatty indeed. A coat of paint would have transformed the place. Joe knew there was a problem at Mr Borthwick's. Fewer and fewer people were buying hamburgers there. Those who did often complained. Okay, that's all I'm asking you to read for today. Bye for now.